I've had an interest in juggling since an early age. Uh, my family would always go down to the Outer Banks and there was this kite shop down there and they always had one guy standing there juggling and it fascinated me. Around 2006, I discovered that there was a juggling club that met in Lancaster. Around the same time, I meet this uh, cute girl. I've always enjoyed the circus, the circus arts, um, clowns, jugglers, performers, that kind of thing. I've always thought it had magic to it. I figured, well, once I get married, my juggling days are over. Uh, but that wasn't the case. In fact, it picked up, and uh, we decided to uh, form an act, Sissy and the Man. Today is Fan Fest for the Lancaster Barnstormers, so they asked us to come and uh, participate and uh, yeah, just juggle. for the fun family and all kinds of different things happening there. And... Clowns kind of get a bad rap these days and they're easy to make fun of. Being a clown's a lot of work. Really tried to hone in my character, understand who she is and why she does the things she does so she's authentic. She got some training up in New York. There's a lot of thought behind it. Yeah, you don't just show up and no. do your thing for half an hour and then leave. It's more, let's talk to this child, make them laugh, and make them feel like this clown is your friend. Maybe you demonstrate what else you can do with a snow cone. It can be a Speak. Yeah. That needs a point. Yeah, they care more about the story. Hey, Kurt. The goal ever since I came out of college was to uh, go full time on my own. And in 2005, I launched Pixel Design, uh, which I still run now. Right now, I'm working on a website for uh, a company in York. Our goal is to make a living through the arts, and that's, and that's difficult. I'm working on a um, collage that I started outside with. I'm trying to get my name out there um, to not only use it as a career and sell it, but also to share my love with other people for it. People feel that since I have my own business, I have a lot of flexibility and free time. And that's not exactly the case. Okay, um, I have to learn to say no to people because even though I can take a Thursday afternoon off and help them move or help them with this and that, if I don't work, the money doesn't come in. And we do have a child coming along. I'm about eight months, um, eight and a half months pregnant. I need to help me with my shoes because I can't reach them anymore. <laughs> Push! Almost. We want to be great parents. And we want to encourage our child to know that like the arts are important. We come from two different aspects and we have two different personalities. If we thought the same exact way, then half the creative things we do wouldn't happen. And so far it's worked pretty well. Yeah. I mean, we still work together. We're still, working. <laughs> We're still doing it. We still enjoy doing it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are Enjoy the rest of your day.